Let's draw sports. Sheep. Hello and welcome to the sports edition of Go Go Mock Rocket Sheep. We're drawing all kinds of sports related stuff. It's going to be a good time. So uh, yeah, let's go. Easy, easy mode. mode. All right. So for easy mode, we will start with one, two, three, four, five, six circles. And we're going to turn these into different kinds of sports balls. The first one is the easiest. It's a basketball. It's the easiest because you draw a line like this, a curvy line like that, and then you draw an oval that comes in like that, and then a little oval on this side, and then you split it in half. And there you have a basketball. Uh, next, we'll do a tennis ball. And a tennis ball and a baseball are similar in that they each use a half of a skin that kind of clamps like this uh, to make the ball. So all you got to do is go kind of like that. And that is your tennis ball. Now baseball is similar in that you go eh, eh, and then er, er, and then you add stitching and usually the stitches are red and the ball is white usually with a tennis ball this is green this line is kind of thicker actually and it's white okay then we should do a soccer ball soccer balls are really hard a soccer ball is tricky because it has a pattern. Uh, so we go with a hexagon. That's six sided. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we do a pentagon. One, two, three, four, five. And we will color that black. Then we do another hexagon. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then a pentagon. pentagon. One, two, three, oops. So one, two, how does that work? Oh man, I'm getting all confused. One, two, three, there we go. And then a, another hexagon, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then a, a oops. Uh, oh, it's confusing. One, two, three, f one, two, three, four. I need one more side in there. There we go. And then another. Eh, eh, eh. Okay. And then these kind of go off the edge. There we go. Oh my gosh. That was really hard. Uh, there's our soccer ball. Okay. Then um, I feel like we should do a puck. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll take this circle, we'll make it an oval and bring it down and there you go. There's a puck and then we'll put the NHL shield on here. I don't know if they still use the NHL shield or if it's changed. It's been a long time since I've watched hockey. And then on one side of the puck is scuffed up. It kind of has this checkerboard sort of a texture on it. Nice. And then the last one we should do is a football, CFL. So CFL football is not a circle, obviously. It is a, I don't know what this would be called. A football. <laughs> I don't know what that shape is called. Uh, okay, so CFL footballs have white lines that go across and then there's a seam and then on the seam are the i don't know what that's called either stitching so that you can throw it uh grip throw spirals okay there are our sports balls
course, once we've got our pencils where we want them, we can ink over the pencils. And I'm drawing digitally, so all that I do is start a new layer, uh, lower the uh, transparency or opacity or opaqueness of the uh, pencil layer. And then I can ink over top of it and just get rid of the layer altogether. And then when I paint uh, a lot of times my line art, I'm using the paint bucket tool. Okay, there are our easy mode uh, sports balls all colored up and they look really good. Medium, medium mode. mode. Okay, for medium mode, I thought it'd be fun to draw a goalie because goalies have a lot of, uh, from hockey, a lot of equipment and they look really cool. So let's start by drawing the net uh, for the goalie to stand in front of, which will be a rectangle sort of like that uh, with the posts coming up both sides like so. I am looking at an image of a goalie uh, just to remember what all of the equipment is, but I'm not going to be using it uh, other than to just remember uh, what stuff sort of looks like. I'm not going to be copying it per se. Okay, so here we have our net. Nice. Okay, so a goalie. We're just gonna draw our goalie in the typical goalie pose. So if you don't know what a typical goalie pose is, uh, they kind of stand like this. Sort of like they're hunched over, knees bent, and then they have their one hand like this and then their glove hand out like that. So nice. Now this is where it's important to draw the stick man because with the blockers and stuff and the pads and it, the anatomy doesn't make as much sense as you would think. Uh, I guess we should draw the hockey stick too. So the hockey stick comes up like this, the goalie stick, and then comes up like this. And then it's thicker to the top with the handle. Okay. So there's our goalie. Uh, now, because it's goalie equipment, uh, it's actually going to be pretty easy to draw the anatomy because you see the first, the, the pad comes up like this. It's just a big old rectangle. And then this pad comes up like this and it's a big old rectangle and it covers a lot of the actual anatomy uh, of the person. And then there's the little skate popping out the bottom. Nice. Then we have the blocker, which is covers up the goalie's hand over here. Uh, it kind of comes, it's another rectangle. It comes like this, sort of like that. There we go. And then the trapper is kind of a rectangle with a glove, uh, circle-y thingy on it like that. And then you have the jersey which is big and baggy because it's covering up all of the equipment underneath and then the goalie mask which is the coolest part of the goalie in my opinion so you have sort of a uh here let's just erase this a little bit so that we can see what we're working with nice okay so you have a line that cuts across and then you have an opening and then there is a bunch of wires that reinforce. Now I'm definitely looking at the reference to figure out how these wires work. I used to draw goalie helmets all the time when I was a kid because I thought they were so cool, but I do not remember. And then it kind of comes down like this. And then there is a see-through plastic part and it comes around like that. And then it comes up like that. And then the shoulder pads. And then, okay. Jerseys kind of have stripes and then a logo on the front. Okay, nice. So. A hockey stick is usually taped up, or at least when I was a kid it was. I'm not sure if they do anymore. 
And then it's usually taped at the end. Not a bad looking goalie. So I think what we'll do is you can add whatever logo you want and whatever logos you want all over. Uh, just looking at the different uh, professional hockey goalies, it looks like they all sort of have themed equipment these days, which is pretty cool. When I was a kid, my favorite goalie was, what was it? What was his name? Dominic Hasek, I think. And he didn't have, all of the goalies had cool helmets and cool pads and he didn't. And I thought that was so cool. Like he just had a regular old helmet. I think it was like a black helmet and his pads were just like boring old pads. Um, and I just thought that was super neat. I think that was his name. And Patrick Waugh, because Patrick Waugh was cool. Anyway, <laughs> I'm revealing how little I know about sports because I haven't watched in years. But anyway, let's ink this and color it up and uh, it'll be good. A lot of the times when I'm inking over my pencil layer digitally, I use a lot of uh, liberty in how I trace over my own lines. Sometimes I will, you know, yes, change the size of things, especially the heads. I usually draw heads way too big for some reason. Um, but I, yes, I'll add details that aren't there uh, with my ink layer. And when you draw digitally, you can do that because ink is as erasable as pencil is. But if you're working on pencil and paper, sometimes it's difficult to add those little details. You got to add them first with pencil. All right. There's our medium mode. Uh, goalie, not too shabby. Uh, I couldn't come up with a very good team, so I just made it called sports. Hard, Hard mode. This is my hard mode painting. It's supposed to be of Michael Jordan. It doesn't look like Michael Jordan at all. It's awful. I hate this drawing, but you know what? That's okay because art doesn't always turn out the way you want it to. Um, and it just highlights my need to practice uh, painting more because it's been a few months since the last time I actually did a painting. Uh, but anyway, yeah, it was still fun to do even though I don't like how it turned out at all. <laughs> Extra, Extra credit! credit! For extra credit, very simple. Pick a famous photo from sports. Maybe it's your favorite sport. Maybe it's like gymnastics or something really photogenic like that. Maybe it's slam dunks from basketball. Who knows? Pick your favorite sports photo and uh, yeah, use it as a reference and draw. Art you Art sent you in. Sent in. Thank you so much to everybody who sent their art in. I love seeing it. You can send your art to gogomockrocketcheap at gmail.com and I'll put it in next week's video. Uh, other than that, thanks so much for drawing along and we'll see you next time.